Let's stop asking, at least for a moment, if an image is beautiful or good or true. Let's ask instead whether an image is strong, how it is strong, and why. There are brutal and fantastic images everywhere. You don't need to see them, and I don't need to show them. We mistakenly believe that these images are strong only because they make us weak. For those who want to monopolize the traffic of images, brutality and fantasy form a perfect pair. The violence that sustains the current order is presented as brutality, so that its necessity will not be questioned. The desires that animate the current order are presented as fantasy, so that they will remain unrecognized and unfulfilled. Let's talk about a different kind of strength. Seen in the right light, strong images make you stronger. Not because of what they show, but because of the distance they strike. The distance between here and there, between me and you, between what there is and what might be. Images that fit the situation where we find ourselves and let us see what we can do to change it. Too often we call such images art, but we might as well call them atoms, the elementary particles of a good life. To hold oneself in balance, to adapt without giving oneself up, that can be the goal of philosophizing. As water holds itself still so that it completely reflects the sky and the clouds and the overhanging branches, as well as moving flocks of birds, as the top holds itself by spinning so that it can glide evenly, its colors beautifully blended, so we can seek a condition in which we reflect the world, showing ourselves to it and carrying on with it. How clearly are the clouds reflected in the water? When do they appear most clearly? Where does the branch, whose root cannot be seen in the reflection, come from? What difference does the wind make above the water? What difference does the mud make below? These are the questions that arise here. Where does the top find room to spin? Where does it find the most? What is the best speed? How do other tops spin? Here these are philosophical questions. Und wer wird sie ändern? Die, denen sie nicht.